In this video, we're going to take a look at materials as it relates to the bookcase family that we've created in the past videos. So the first thing I want to do is I'm just selecting right here my top enclosure to the bookcase and I'm going to come over to my properties menu and you'll see down here under materials and finishes the material that's currently assigned to our entire family as you can see it's all gray uh, which kind of looks like chipboard is by category um, so we're just gonna go ahead and define there's two different ways that I want to show you um, how we'll define our materials the first and you know most simple way is if we click in this field right here and select this button you'll see the menu Revit brings us to is our material browser so we can directly assign a material to this bookcase top shelf enclosure and what I want to make sure is clear is that by assigning this first option we're not creating a parameter what we're doing is assigning a material to the top so let's go ahead and pick one you'll see there's very few materials available by default here in the material browser that's available in the family editor but we can still use the AEC materials or any of the other materials that Autodesk has available on the list. We just have to load them into our document. So I'm going to come down and the search feature is also pretty useful. So I can type in aluminum here and you can see it'll bring up all my aluminum material and I'm going to use this aluminum right here. So I'm just going to select it and it'll bring up my buttons over here and I'm just gonna select this toggle to add it to our document and just click apply now this browser is in our document what we're gonna do I'm gonna come over here and look at the editor and we see that everything is okay in order to see any reflection of what this new material type that we're creating is going to have on on the model without doing a rendering we need to change under our graphics properties here in shading we need to check this to use render appearance and once I do that now I can click done here I'm gonna close out of this editor we'll go ahead and click OK and you'll see now my material for that top shelf enclosure actually shows to be a red aluminum material as we just specified the second way and way that we're going to continue to use in this family that we're building and in future families that will build because it allows us more flexibility is we're actually going to create a material parameter so I'm going to select the base of our bookshelf enclosure come back over to our properties menu you'll see out here on the edge we were clicking in the field but out here over on the edge you'll see there's another button and if I select that under you know materials and finishes you'll see it's bringing up associate family parameter menu so we're gonna add right now we're adding a material parameter that will allow us more flexibility than using the by carry by category method that we used originally so we're just gonna name this base shelf enclosure and we're going to leave this a type property and you'll see because of the way we went in through our properties and the materials already it's Revit's already assuming the type of parameter is material and that it's going to be grouped under materials and finishes as well so everything is set up for us we're going to click OK now we have a material parameter so I'm going to close this menu If I come over here to family types again now you'll see that we have a materials and finishes group and our base shelf enclosure is here now I can come in and specify a material here as well so let's stick with our example and use another aluminum type and we'll go with blue here so once again that's not loaded we're coming over and loading that into the document as well now I'm just double clicking on it to bring up my material editor again and making sure that we check this use render appearance what Revit is really doing is taking a sample and applying it to the shaded view so that we can see 
that this material has been has taken effect. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK once again. And you'll see we've assigned this aluminum anodized blue. Let's click Apply. And you'll see the base of our bookshelf take effect here. This way allows us to create many different material. You'll, you'll find that you'll have materials sometimes that you need to assign. If we wanted to have a blue example, and then we would come back and we're maybe we're going to have a different color or a different material type, maybe it's a wood book bookcase, we're able to change just through the parameters the material type and create many different bookcases of different materials. Rather than when we assign by category, it's going to remain that material type across all the families that we create. The material parameter gives us the flexibility that we'll want to have as we move into our future video where we create different bookcase sizes. I hope this video has been helpful for you.